Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and I have a card to share with you guys using the new Simon Says Stamp April Card Kit. I will have a link to the kit in the description box below the video. So for this card, I'm using just the elements included in the kit along with a couple of different inks. So there's all sorts of stickers and these fun little plastic clips and pattern papers and an embossing powder and of course a exclusive Simon Says stamp set. So, and then there's a few sheets of the Simon Says brand cardstock. So that's what I'm using here. I used the pink sheet and attached three of these stickers to it. And then I just trimmed it down so that there's a border um, around the stickers. And then um, I'm using the sheet of heavyweight white cardstock that comes in. This is the Simon Says, um, I think this is their 120 pound cardstock. Seriously, if you've never tried this cardstock before, it is phenomenal. I tend to hoard it because I don't have a very much of it and yet it is the heaviest weight white cardstock I've ever used. Very very smooth texture like it's just gorgeous. So I've been using it for a couple years now. I just like I said I hoard it because it's gorgeous. So I used the birthday flowers stamp set that comes in the kit and I grabbed some Simon Says duckling ink and stamped this kind of uh, confetti style stamp on the card front here. I'm just doing everything right onto the card base itself and I stamped it multiple times and stamped it um, a few times without re-inking it as well. It's kind of hard to see on camera but it just gives a lighter impression and then I coated everything with my anti-static powder tool. Honestly what I should have done was quickly heat set this ink because I was moving rather quickly. I filmed this all literally in the middle of the night when I made this card so I was trying to get it all done while the kids were still asleep. So I stamped this other stamp with Versamark ink and used the embossing powder that comes in the set and it's a detailed black embossing powder from WOW and the embossing powder did pick up on some of the stamp little confetti lines. I brushed off a little bit here and there with a brush and the rest of it I just kind of left. I just went with it. <laughs> like I said when you're crafting at like one in the morning it's just got to do what you got to do. So there's these fun um, kind of label stamps in the set as well. So I stamped the happy birthday one onto a piece of the same white cardstock and embossed it with that same fine detail black embossing powder, which I know to some of you is sort of shocking. I don't often use black embossing powder, but for the right times, I guess it just works. Um, especially with a sentiment like, like, like that label sentiment. Um, if I'd stamped it in like say a black ink and then embossed with clear, I just, you wouldn't get the same effect as you do with just black embossing powder. So I stamped it, embossed it, um, trimmed it out with my scissors and then I attached the little sticker panel with some foam tape and then I just use a really narrow strip of some more foam tape to attach the sentiment and then of course I had to finish the inside of the card so there is another there's several stick, sticker sheets in this kit so I just grabbed one of the flower stickers they're so pretty and there's there's actually coordinating like stamps that are similar as well but I grabbed the flower sticker and then I inked up another one of the label stamps with the duckling ink and you'll see in a minute I actually um, I mushed it too deep into the ink pad and kind of messed up the stamping so I, all I did was stamp it a second time and trim it out and adhered it over top and then it was done <laughs> and added that little XOXO sticker and that's all there was to it so like I said I will have a link below my video to my blog post I'll also have a link to the kit um, and all that fun stuff so if you're interested in that check it out below and hopefully I'll have some cards coming soon um, different cards using the same kit thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping my videos and I will see you all very soon in the next one bye